Okay, wake up seconds. Then let's see uh, what will be the conjunction of anomaly that's of his uh, uh, esophagus, and which is called the uh, esophageal and the vitreal. The esophageal and the vitreal is just like a sac like uh, outpouching, that is uh, one or more layers in the esophagus. Or oh, someone can say that uh, is uh, just an outpouching on the walls of the esophagus. And the esophageal and the vitreal can occur uh, in three uh, main areas. One can occur, uh, uh, one can occur in the pharyngeal esophageal, which means uh, between the pharynx and the esophagus. And this we call it at the, at the uh, zinc and uh, the vitreal, which means that's occur in the pharyngeal esophageal uh, portion. And this is the most common location of uh, esophageal and uh, the vitreal. Another is called uh, traction and uh, the vitreal. And this occur in the mid uh, of the esophagus. It means at the uh, at the point where the in between the, the esophagus. Another we call it a uh, epiphrenic uh, the vitreal, and this occur ab just above the just above the lower uh, esophageal uh, sphincter. So these are the main uh, areas where the esophageal and the vitreal can occur. Let's see about this is our diagram. And we have said that we have one of the, that's called a uh, zinc and the that occur at the pharynx and the esophageal junction, it means a uh, pharyngeal esophageal. And the another we call it a uh, tra traction, occur in the mid -eso of the esophagus. And uh, the last one we call it uh, the epiphrenic. Epiphrenic it means occur above the, uh, the uh, diaphragm. And also we have seen that it's occurred above the lower so far you are speaking and let's uh, see uh, uh, in small details about this uh, the vitreal uh, we have seen that we have zinc uh, the vitreal and traction and also epiphrenic let's see about these two uh, zinc uh, the vitreal and the traction one zinc are uh, the vitreal is also called the pigeon uh, the vitreal it's like the compressible mass in the neck it means uh, that is a compressible one mass that's a uh, so in the neck and this also uh, what are the main uh, of the uh, symptoms uh, it's, it's associated with uh, gargling sounds and also dysphagia uh, also regurgitation and aspiration it means once someone uh, takes in food would experience a difficult uh, swallowing we call it a dysphagia difficult swallowing and due to the presence of this mass in the neck and also sometimes they are regurgitation. It means the food can go in the stomach and then it, rega it is regurgitated. And also can experience aspiration. That's going to go to the lungs and cause different uh, uh, diseases in the lungs. What uh, uh, is the uh, main uh, treatment to uh, remove this diabetic problem is, to, is, is about uh, diabetic crocotomy. It means you remove the wall at the diabetic problem. And also, what about the tra traction at the bedroom? This may not have signs and symptoms. You see, that's uh, it's so bad because it uh, does not have uh, signs and symptoms. But this is less common as we, uh, we compare with the zinc at the bedroom. What are the diagnosis? Uh, you can do endoscope or the use of barium. So it means someone swallow barium and therefore you look on the ultrasound and you see how these are the bedroom. Okay, what are the symptoms uh, of the esophageal diabetes? First one is the uh, dysphagia. Dysphagia means there is a uh, difficult in swallowing the foods. As we have seen, that the zinc and the is just like a compressible mass in the neck, so it will compress the esophagus, the original esophagus one. So what's happened is means someone will experience a uh, difficulty during swallowing. And that's about the regurgitation of the food consumed uh, several days ago. It means one as far as food. This is uh, esophagus, normal esophagus, but this is just like a, a diabetic. Food. So once uh, swar someone as far as food, it means the food will stay here. And at the end of the time, since this is a compressible mass, once it's compressed, it will cause regurgitation, and therefore the food uh, return to, to uh, all the cabbage. And also, uh, Someone will experience a chronic cough, maybe due to the aspiration, and also weight loss uh, due to the impairment uh, in the radiation and, uh, and also other 
proceed the world process about the digestion of the food. Yeah. The weight loss to be associated with the world process that involves the digestion. Well the complication associated with this are the best one is about malnutrition. Malnutrition due to the impairment in the digestion or in the uh, gastrointestinal tract. And also another is aspirations means in terms of the food of the food materials and uh, fruits can go to the lungs um, and so many will experience the chronic cough and also many occur perforation and uh, inflammation these are the many complications that are associated with the other is fire or at the best one okay by saying so don't forget to uh, subscribe our channel and welcome again to our channel thanks